hey y'all it's your girl carlissa i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i got these natural looking clippings to blend with my hair so if you're interested just keep on watching So I am using Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions today. Y'all know I love this company. So in each box comes your bundle, extra weft clips, a hair clip, a wide tooth comb, as well as instructions on how to take care of your extensions. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how I wash them. So I'm just going to show you guys one bundle, but I do have two. I got the Afro Kinky Curly Clip-Ins in 14 inches. Like I said, I got two bundles and I'm starting out with saturating the hair. You really want to drench the hair with water, you guys, or this isn't going to come out right. I'm also raking my hands through the hair just to get some of that shed hair out to minimize shedding and tangling later. I'm going in with the Garnier Whole Blends Coconut Water and Aloe Vera Shampoo. Now you don't want to shampoo the actual hair. I personally like to shampoo the wefts, that's a personal choice, but you should never shampoo curly hair because it can dry out the hair. But this is just an extra step I like to do just to make sure that the clips are clean. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna make sure I wash out the shampoo thoroughly. Make sure you get it out of the clips, out of the length of the hair. Just really making sure all of that shampoo is gone because like I said, shampoo is no good for curly hair extensions. And as you can see here, I have just a little bit of shedding going on, that's okay. Now I'm going in with the Garnier Whole Blends Conditioner. What I'm gonna do is fully coat the hair in this conditioner. It's a cheap conditioner, so I'm using a bunch, you guys, but you wanna make sure you have a lot of conditioner so that the hair can be nice and soft. It'll smell good and it'll be easy to detangle. So once I'm done raking the product through, I'm gonna allow the hair to sit for about 15 to 30 minutes to condition. Then I'm gonna go in with my Felicia Leatherwood brush to define the curls. So as you can see here, I have two wefts and I'm just putting them together to detangle. This makes the detangling process a lot quicker, but look at the difference between the manufactured curl and the curls that we have defined. We do not want ramen noodle curls, okay? Enough of that. So I'm detangling with this brush to just bring out the curls as well as clump them together. This brush, um, I got this tip from Naturally Mary on YouTube. She was absolutely right, y'all. This brush is gonna do it for curly hair every single time, y'all. So I swear by it now for all of my curly hair. But like I said, use whatever detangling tool you have. You can even use a paddle brush, you guys. But I personally, like I said, I like the Felicia Leatherwood. You could use the Easy Detangler or a paddle brush. But I feel like a comb just doesn't do it enough justice. So here's what the curls look like afterwards. I separate the two wefts, you guys, so that it avoids frizz later on when I separate the hair. And I also go in and separate those curls that are two clumps. So when it looks like there's three or four curls clumped in one, I separate those. And I just keep doing that throughout the rinsing process because I want it to dry a certain way. My hair does not dry super clumped like that and I want this to match and look as natural as possible. So this is what the hair looks like and once it's done being rinsed, I scrunch the curls so it'll shrink up a little bit more and then I set it to dry product free. I have decided not to use any product this time to see how I like that method and as y'all saw, it did what it needed to do, okay? Okay. So I'm just gonna continue to rinse out all the product until I'm done and then I left the wefts to dry overnight and started the application process the following day. And this is how much shedding I received from one bundle. Like I said, I did have two bundles, but I only washed one on camera, but this really isn't bad. 
So the following day, I washed my hair and I just put it in flat twists. So the middle twist that you see here, as well as the front twists, are all going to be my leave out. Each bundle comes with a four weft clip, two three weft clips, three two weft clips, and one one weft clip. So I'm just starting out like I always do with a three clip on the bottom of my hair. In the back, I just used a combination of three and four weft clips starting with three. And then towards the top, I used two two weft clips. I hope that makes sense, y'all. These are real tongue twisters. And then on the sides of my head, I used a combination of two and three weft clips starting with the two weft clip and then putting the three on top just like that until I ran out and and then I used one of the one weft clips on each side of my head at the top surrounding the leave out I hope that makes sense y'all it's really hard to explain but you can just watch what I'm doing so if any of y'all were wondering I did get rid of the shave size that I used to have my hair in I have what's called a corrective cut so that's why my twists look a little weird she kept a good portion of my length at the top of my hair but cut it short enough so that it sort of blended with the sides which haven't fully grown to where I would like them yet so that's why my twists look weird like they stop really short even though the hair looks like it's longer at the top the hair is long at the top and really short on the sides um but that's for those of y'all that even cared about that but what I did with the twists was I took the front twists and pinned them back so you couldn't see it after I applied the clip-ins So for my leave out, I'm just gonna take out one twist at a time and work one by one. So I unraveled the twist. I already had leave-in in my hair. So I just added water as needed as well as detangled and used my wet line extreme gel to define my curls. So all I did was my usual method of defining my curls, which is shingling. If you don't know what that is, that's literally just twirling the curl around your finger until it is defined. And that is how I went about all of my leave out sections. Um, I know normally people would try to brush the hair and get their curls to blend, but my hair doesn't work that way. So I wanted the hair to be dry and then work on my individual leave out separately. As you guys can see here, my hair really matches this curl pattern and that was the goal. But I will say having my shorter sides really helped as far as covering the tracks on the side because the hair just stood straight up. I noticed when my hair was longer, it was a lot harder to cover up the tracks on the side. Um, so I don't have that issue right now, which is pretty cool. And then for the center, I'm just going to do the same thing. However, I just have to define my part in the center before going in and defining the actual curls. So like I said, people normally brush their hair with the clip-ins. I didn't want to do y'all dirty. I don't like when people just show you the clip-ins wet and never show you how it looks dry. That is not my style. So anytime I do clip-ins, y'all know I show you guys what the hair looks like dry. I let the hair dry completely this time, product free. And I like that better than when I first tried this hair texture. So what I was going for with this look was what my hair would look like in a wash and go if I never cut it. That was the goal for this particular style. With my hair still being long at the top, I knew that having just enough leave out should work, but since my hair shrinks up so much, I wanted a shorter length so that it looked more natural. As opposed to the first time I did this style, I did 20 inch and 18 inch bundles. I was like, nah, my hair shrunk up so bad. I want something that's closer to my actual length. And this worked out perfectly, y'all.
This is mad cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay my edges. And then after I'm done with that, I'm tying my hair down with a scarf because I noticed in my last clip-in video that doing that helped my hair to lay flatter. So I was like, okay, cool, we're gonna try it again now that my hair has grown. And what I did was hit it with some heat at the top um, just to get the hair to dry flat at the part and just to see if my hair would dry. But I will say, that my hair was still frizzy, so after I was done with this video, I had to go define my curls some more. Flats. This is what the girls wanna see. She's perfect. She's absolutely perfect. Bro, I hope the back looks good or I'm gonna be so embarrassed. So y'all, these are my final results. Like I said, I defined my own personal curls after filming. I noticed that they were still a little frizzy. So I went off camera, put more water and gel and it was seamless, y'all. It looks seamless on camera right now anyway. But like I said, the goal was to have my hair look like what it used to before I cut it because I'm honestly y'all I miss it sometimes so this worked out perfectly I will say I prefer this method of just using the little bit of leave out as opposed to my older ways of doing things which was I used to leave like the top half of my hair out and try to blend it nah this method is it for me less work it's so much easier and it lays flatter and looks really natural too i used to leave out the top half thinking that the back of the tracks would show if i didn't leave that much leave out out not the case y'all as y'all can see y'all saw the back no tracks are showing this was by far my easiest install i prefer this method over everything y'all just a little bit of leave out in the front and you're good so if you're like me you have 4b hair highly recommend the afro kinky curly texture from this company because the way that the curl pattern matches mine is literally seamless absolutely love amazing beauty hair the girlies at amazing beauty hair have done it again y'all they always get me right but their afro kinky curly texture will always be my favorite so let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know if you try this curl texture out or this company i will leave the links and discount code down below for you guys here is my attempt to say goodbye to y'all and i got lip gloss all over my hands anyways bye y'all